want your creativity. Today I'm going to talk to you about the naysayers. Now everybody has them and they will make you crazy if you let them. So let me just give you some words of caution. Naysayers, they come along at the most inopportune time. You know, you're riding high, you've got a, a dream, a passion, something you're so excited about, and here they come to throw a wet towel on you. You know, take the wind out of your sails, rain on your parade, all those kinds of things. And it can be your best friend or your mom. It could even be your spouse. It could be um, maybe somebody that you look up to. And that can really, really be hurtful, especially if it's somebody that, that is in your life and, and you really respect their opinion. So I want to warn you that um, not all advice is equal. And of course you know that. But what I mean is consider the source. So when somebody comes along and says, oh, the economy is awful. Oh, you know, you can't do that. Nobody's going to buy that. Those kind of things. Look at that person. Have they ran a business? Have they brought a product to market? Have they authored a book or written music? What are they doing in their life that makes them the expert on your life? Now that's a whole nother thing. There's just a host of people out there that seem to think that they are better at running your life than you are. Now I have one of those, my neighbor down the street at Bet. She just, she makes me crazy. I can't even tell you. And in fact, she's gonna be stopping in today sometime. I keep looking out the window because I'm hoping she doesn't come while I'm taping. But anyway, she's lost her dog and she wants to come down and, and bring me a flyer. So hopefully we can get done here. Um, other things that I want to tell you is some people will be hypercritical of what you're doing because they're jealous. Jealousy, as you know, just fuels all kinds of really ugly behaviors. So again, consider the source. Another reason somebody might rain on your parade is possibly because they just never had the guts to do what you're going to do. And that's envy. So envy, another terribly ugly thing. So just seriously, girls, just consider the source. You know, it's, it's all going to work out if you stay true to yourself and you follow your creative path. Oh, you know what? I think Aunt Bet is here. So, and I don't really have time to, to retake this. So, um, you know what? Why don't you come along with me and you can meet Aunt Bet. She's a hoot, okay? Okay, come on, let's go. Sharon! Sharon, are you home? Oh, Sharon, oh, hi, sorry. Didn't know you had company. So anyway, Sharon, I lost my dog, and I really got to find my little spotty, you know, because he has a condition, and, I, and I'm kind of worried about him. So, hey, I was talking to the neighbors, and the neighbors said that you're going to start a business, and you're making these videos and stuff, and really, I just don't know what's wrong with you, because who's going to watch them? Where are you going to play a video? What are you thinking? Anyways, what's this stuff about a business? You know, really, you ought to just be happy. Staying home, taking care of the kids. You know what I mean? Taking care of the kids is kind of a big job. And then you got your husband. And gee, you know, you ought to just be happy. I've been happy. 65 years I've been happy. Staying home. Well, you know what? It was nice talking to you. Nice meeting you. And I had to go find my dog. So. If you see my dog, could you just call me? You know, just yell over the fence. I'm always up. And um, I'll check back with you later about this video stuff. Because, you know, you, you just can't be selling stuff these days. Nobody's buying anything. You know, it's the economy. I think you just need to be really careful and just stay home. And, uh, and you know, like, maybe you could take up knitting. Or you could learn how to cook. Because, you know, frankly, honey, when you come to the potlucks on the block potty, you know what? Your cooking's really awful. And you could put your time to better uses. You know what I mean? All right. I got to go get my hair done. And I got to go find my little spotty dog. All right. So, all right. Okay. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. All right, girls. So you've met Aunt Bet. And now you see what I mean. Consider the source. Always consider the source of who is dishing you advice. All right, girls, I'll be back with you again next week. I think I'm going to talk to you about the ever so popular topic, what was I thinking? We all have those. So in the meantime, be inspired and stay creative. 
and I will see you back here next week. Have a great day.